Podcast Highlight is a software intelligence solution for performing rapid application portfolio analysis on hundreds of applications in less than a week. One common use case for Cast Highlight is cloud readiness or measuring the readiness for applications to be migrated to the cloud. From the Cast Highlight homepage here, you can see the three main capabilities of the platform represented by these three tiles at the top of the home screen. Software Health includes a number of metrics related to the health of applications across a portfolio. Metrics include resiliency, agility, and elegance. Cloud readiness is where we're going to focus today. And finally, open source safety measures software composition analysis, or identifies open source risks associated with security vulnerabilities, IP licensing risks, or obsolete components. For purposes of this demonstration, we're going to be using a portfolio of applications made up of 202 applications. And we're going to drill into this middle tile here called Cloud Ready. We're going to start by demonstrating a series of portfolio level dashboards and then drill into one specific application. This first dashboard is called the Cloud Ready Decision Matrix. On the vertical axis, we have the Business Impact Score. It's on a scale of zero to 100, and this comes from a series of surveys that are completed by application owners. On the horizontal axis, we have the Cloud Ready Index, also on a scale from zero to 100, which is measuring how ready an application is to be migrated to the cloud and specifically adopt platform as a service. This is calculated based on analyzing the source code of an application, along with a couple of survey questions. Each icon on this dashboard represents an application in the portfolio. And the size of the bubble on the dashboard is currently set to the number of roadblocks that we found in the code or issues that would prevent or hinder a migration to the cloud. I could change what the bubbles represent to things like lines of code to get a sense of size of each application, total FTEs to get a sense of the cost to maintain the application. I'm going to leave it on roadblocks for now. The way a cloud architect may choose to use this dashboard is to start segmenting and prioritizing applications across a portfolio for migration to the cloud and essentially start to build a roadmap for cloud migration. We have some smart segments here to do some simple segmentation. So for example, we have one called Quick Wins. These are applications in the lower right that have a higher cloud readiness, but a lower business impact. So here's a good place to potentially start, pick off a few of these applications because they're not impactful to the business. So if something were to go wrong during migration, it won't have as big of an impact to the organization, but they're also gonna need less work because they're smaller bubbles, meaning less roadblocks, and they have a higher cloud ready score. So maybe start here, pick off some quick wins and gain some confidence and credibility. Next, we have a segment called Core Cloud. These are applications in the upper right. These are more strategic applications to the organization because they have a higher business impact and they're also highly cloud ready. So this is probably where a lot of refactor efforts going to be used because these are applications that are probably good candidates for platform as a service. Long-term bets are applications in the upper left. These applications have lower cloud readiness, but they're still strategic to the organization. So they're not going anywhere, but they're gonna need a lot more work to make them cloud ready and adopt the platform as a service. So maybe we initially rehost and lift and shift these applications to infrastructure as a service, and then push that refactoring work and make them cloud native further on down the line. And then finally, we have a segment called Pursue Later. These are applications in the lower left that are lower on both the business impact scale as well as on the cloud readiness scale. In fact, once an architect looks closer at some of these applications, you might be able to find some examples of applications that could be retired, potentially replaced by a SaaS alternative, and you can start to consolidate applications that maybe have duplicate functionality. That's a simple example of how to use this dashboard to start building that roadmap to the cloud. There's another portfolio level dashboard here that starts to incorporate the concept of software health. In this case, we've now moved the cloud readiness index to the vertical axis. And on the horizontal axis, we have one of our software health metrics. In this case, the specific metric we're using is software resiliency. Now resiliency is a measurement of reliability or robustness based on software engineering industry best practices. Another way to think about it is, resiliency is almost like an early warning system on how likely an application is to be prone to production issues based on how it's written. Green means pretty good, orange in the middle, and red not so good. 
Here's a really good example of why looking at health is also important when building the roadmap for the cloud. I'm hovering over one application here called Clojure. And if you were to just look at the cloud readiness of this application, you'd see it's got a pretty good score. It's over 60. It's also got a relatively low number of roadblocks. There's only 74. So by looking at just those two data points alone, this looks like a good migration candidate. However, Cast highlights unique in that it's also looking at the health of the application and you can see that it's got low resiliency and even worse, agility and elegance. In other words, this is an application that's probably prone to production issues, it's hard to maintain and upgrade it, and it's written in a very complex manner. This is an unhealthy application and an unhealthy application on-prem is going to be an unhealthy application in the cloud. So we might move this application into a different segment, potentially delay the migration while fixing these health issues, and then move it into the migration segment once this becomes a healthier application. It's just another example of different ways to segment and prioritize applications across a portfolio based on the different software intelligence measures available in Cast Highlight. This third portfolio level dashboard is an aggregate summary of all of the different what we call boosters, or good things we found in the source code across the portfolio that make applications more ready to be migrated to the cloud, and blockers or issues we found in the source code of the applications that are going to prevent or hinder a migration. It's a little bit easier to understand blockers when we get down to an individual application level, so we'll revisit blockers in a moment. One final portfolio level dashboard we're going to look at is the application links dashboard. The Application Links Dashboard is a dashboard that helps visualize the interdependencies or app-to-app -app dependencies between applications across the portfolio. This data could be coming from a number of different sources, but it's also important to not only look at the cloud readiness of an application, but also the app-to-app -app dependencies. Let's take a closer look at one such application. I'm going to focus on this one application here called Experiences. And I can see, based on this visualization dashboard, that there's a number of different connections between this application and other applications. The color coding represents the type of connection, whether it's an API, FTP, or SOAP connection in this example. This is another area that needs to be analyzed before planning a migration and segmenting an application for migration to understand if there's other applications that could potentially be impacted or linkages that could be broken after migrating an application to the cloud. Let's drill into this one specific application a little bit further and understand the application level information that Cast Highlight provides when planning a migration. As you can see here, we have a lot of the same measures that we had at the portfolio level, but now we're down at this one specific application level. First, very briefly, we're going to look at software composition. On this dashboard, we can see some of the risks associated with the use of open source or third-party components in this application. We see security vulnerabilities, potential IP licensing risks, as well as the age of the components being used and potential issues with obsolescence. We have a much more detailed demo on software composition analysis for Cast Highlight that you can check out, but this just shows you very quickly that there are some other areas that you're going to want to focus in on when planning a migration for an application, such as remediation mediating insecure third-party or open source components before migrating to the cloud. Now let's look at the Cloud Ready tab for this application. This application has a Cloud Ready score of 65.1. It's a weighted average based on a survey score, and you can see the survey questions that are contributing to the score down below here, and a Cloud Ready scan score, which is based on analysis of the source code. If we click on this tab, we could see all of the patterns that we're scanning for in the source code. I can sort by this final column here called roadblocks to start understanding what are the issues that need to be remediated in the code of this application before I can migrate it to the cloud. Let's take one specific example here. This second row represents a blocker. In this case, the blocker is the use of persistent files and performing file manipulation. This is something common in an on-prem Java application, but it's not necessarily going to work well in a cloud native environment. We see here there's an impact. You'll see the letter C, F, or A, which stand for code, framework, or architecture. Essentially 
essentially the more letters you see there and the more effort it's going to require to remediate this blocker. You'll see a criticality, high, medium, and low. And then this last column here shows the number of occurrences of this specific blocker. And in this case, we found 324 individual occurrences of performing file manipulation on persistent files in this application. If I click on that, that brings up a list of every file where we found each of those occurrences. And if I want to learn more about any of these blockers, I can simply click on this question mark to bring up our knowledge base. And here in the cast highlight knowledge base, you'll get more information on the rationale. We talked about criticality and migration impacts. And then you'll see the specific code pattern syntax that we're searching for throughout all the source code files. All of the information we're viewing here can be exported to Excel. And this includes every single file, cloud requirement, blocker, by technology that would need to be remediated before migrating to the cloud. All of this information can also be viewed via an exportable PowerPoint. And this PowerPoint includes more visual charts and reports that can be used more for an executive level presentation. And finally, Cast Highlight has an integration with the JIRA ticketing system so that you could automatically import all of these blockers that we're finding in the source code scan and create JIRA projects so that the development team can remediate those blockers and make that application ready to be migrated to the cloud. Cast Highlight also offers a set of new reports that recommend specific cloud services that could be adopted once up on the cloud. So based on the characteristics of each application, it recommends specific cloud platform specific services that your application can adopt once it's migrated to the cloud. This is available for both Azure and AWS. These cloud platforms include catalogs of dozens of services. So getting this level of intelligence and recommendations is extremely useful when migrating applications to the cloud. In summary, Cast Highlight helps accelerate cloud migration by rapidly accessing an entire portfolio of hundreds of applications in a matter of days to segment and prioritize them and start building that roadmap to the cloud. It enables you to drill into each individual application and cover blockers and boosters and identify specifically what needs to be done to each application to make it ready to be migrated to the cloud. And it provides specific cloud service recommendations on Azure and AWS so that your application can start taking advantage of innovative cloud native services sooner. Thank you for watching this demonstration.